Hello, Paul Robinson here from uh, Workwear Canada.com. It's bushcraftcanada.com, and I thought I'd do a quick little video on some of the more sort of exotic, different knives that um, we occasionally uh, stock, and uh, you know, sort of knives you don't see very often. And uh, had a few emails and people ask me questions, so I thought, well, I'll just you know do a quick video and show a few of them off, and uh, just so people can have a have a better look at them. Um, where should we start? Let's start with this folder. So this is a very unusual folder. I managed to get a few of these in last year. You really, you don't often see these. This is a ZDP 189 uh, laminate steel. Uh, so first of all, those you know ZDP folders are pretty thin on the ground anyway. They're only made in Japan. I think there's only one company that makes them. Super hard steel, 67 HRC you know probably the best with carry X the best you know steel available very unusual grind this is called a katano edge <clears throat> it's actually a convex one side and a sabre grind the other I'm um, not too sure how well you can see that there um, it's made in Seki City in uh, Japan and actually the profile here is a Mount Fuji lockback folder with uh, desert ironwood very nice knife, has a you know highish price tag on it, but very unusual, don't often see it. And actually, coolly quite comfortable because that lacks the nice little thumb map there. I think it's about the last one or two I've got. Very, you know, sort of collectible, and, but a uh, you know, real user. Um, but uh, stainless steel um, bolsters, very nice knife. And I say, not something you see every day. Um, other ones we have, we this is the Enzo. And this is actually the Camper, and I've got a very good um, um, review of the Camper on our on our website. Actually, this is the custom version, so uh, this is the Camper, and um, makes an excellent uh, custom knife. These we take the blanks and we uh, we put the slabs on and brass pins. Really nice knife, zero scandy grind. Comes with a nice. Uh, Scandi style leather sheath with a bar still loop on. The camper is a popular knife, along with the trapper and the badger. And uh, like I say, we you know we get the blanks and we uh, customise them. Makes a really nice outdoor knife. This is the um, this is just that the um, this is a really nice knife. I really like this. I've used this this particular one, but you know this model a lot, which is the the DPX heft. This is actually the four inch woodsman with the actually got G10 slabs on. They normally come with the wooden slabs. But this is a really, really handy knife. But using that uh, a lot, very good. Uh, that's that, that uh, German steel, like a D2 variant, 61 HRC. Excellent knife. Um, another quite unusual one. Well, let's, let's have a look at this one. This is a Costa, actually, yeah, Nesmuk. Um, this is a nice knife. Interesting design, then of you know, a sort of variation of the Nesmuk style. This is 01. Steel. I think it's about a four and a quarter inch blade, about four mil thick. Nice, comfortable knife in the hand, and uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice knife. That nice leather sheath too. Again, quite an unusual custom that one. Just have a few of those left, I think. Um, this is a really um, a knife you don't see. This is the uh, again from Seki City. Um, this is called the Bosun Tenshi. Um, and this again, very nice knife, five mil thick, unusual steel. Well, this is steel you probably see more of. This is a laminate steel, and this is the SLD, which is the the, the steel that's going to take over from ATS thirty four, Hitachi steel. Excellent, excellent cutting steel. There aren't many knives around actually with that steel on at the moment, but there probably will be more later on. This is one of the first first ones. Again, all made in uh, Japan. Very nice knife, mahogany handle. It's not a full tang, this one's about three quarter, but it's really solid, you know, very solid knife. Interesting sheath here, wooden, traditional wooden sheath. Um, and leather, very nice, very interesting knife. There's a little choil cut in there. And, uh, you know, a, again, a very usable knife as well. Sort of sits straight in the hand, but very good, excellent. Uh, and another one I'll just quickly show you is the um, I've done another video on these, actually this is the Fox Parang, but we had this one uh, with Black Mercada handles on it. Um, and uh, again, this is another really 
excellent usable knife, large knife obviously, this is that uh, N690 steel with a nitroglider coating. Very good, very usable knife, you know, all round um, survival knife and um, uh, we've had this one rehandled. So, uh, you know, excellent quality tool, a little bit uh, heavy, a bit more chopping ability with this, you know. Very good, nice with the uh, Black Mercado. So, uh, you yeah, know, I just thought I'd show you a few of those sort of more exotic knives we have. The, you know, they're, um, say the Japanese ones and Costa Ice, very good, and the Enzo, you don't often uh, see them. Um, so I just thought I would uh, just quickly uh, show them off, especially this uh, Bose Intensity, very nice. And uh, like I say, not a knife you're going to see every day. But anyway, if you need any more information about it, you can always give me an email, paul at bushcraftcanada.com.